Let's begin with Romans 8 to develop it. It says, verse 3, For what was impossible to the law, it was what? Impossible. Difficult? It is to say that the law of Moses, the old covenant, it was impossible for it to do something for you. And you know how many people are living according to the law today? Seems like they haven't read impossible here. There are people that are still engaged, no, that the law of Moses, that you must keep the law, that the law is good, that it is good for you, that we must honor, keep the Sabbath because the law. But it's that it tells you here that what was impossible for the law. Why? Because the law, you keep it with what? With the flesh. It's not with the spirit. You need the body. It says here that what was impossible to the law in that you were weak through what? The flesh. Because the flesh is the evil the vehicle to be able to serve the law. It says God sending his son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin. What did he do to sin? He condemned it in your flesh. He condemned sin in the flesh. Sin worked in your flesh. It condemned you, separated you from God, destroyed your conscience. Well, he took what was, what was sin in you. He came and Condemned it in your flesh. It is to say that it's still there, the manifestation of what was sin, but since it's condemned, it can't separate you from God. That is like taking an individual and instead of killing him, you give him a sentence of life. Well, we're not going to kill him. The individual says, it's best you kill me. No, we're going to condemn you. A hundred years incarcerated. If he's 40 years old, he says, I'm not going to last. The man is alive, but he can't function. He can't do harm because he's incarcerated. So God, he mocked sin in this way. I'm not going to remove you from the flesh. The intentions of weaknesses, I'm going to leave them there, but I'm going to condemn you so you don't separate them from my presence. Hello. It's like a vaccine. When they invented a vaccine, what they do is take the same virus of the sickness and make an antibody and they inject it. They inject it, the same thing, but in a form of antibody. Well, that can't do harm anymore. Well, that's what God did. He took sin and condemned it. He said, go ahead, try to affect them now. Can't do anything, but you have to know this. If you don't know this, it'll destroy you. Look how the churches out there are living, afraid of staying if Christ was to come. If Christ finds you in sin, you're going to stay. But what sin? If sin was condemned, where it was causing harm before. Did you understand that? Well, let's go. We're done with the service. You know that no pastor, no one have understood these last five minutes I've just explained. They haven't understood. If they had, they would not preach condemnation because the condemnation they are preaching about, Christ has already settled it. Sin was condemned in the same flesh. It has been liquidated. Can't affect you. 